Come on, you're, you're, you're up, dude. Uh, bye. Get your from. From. Out. Casa. Yeah! Ah. 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 I told you it'd be a fun one. Ah. All right. Have a fun day. So, we're talking about plants and Plus plant children, systems. You'll get a bad day. Plants and plants, systems and tissues and whatnot. So let's uh, talk about a few things. Um, like we said, the vocabulary of things. Make sure you know. You know, you don't have to label anything, but make sure you know what the flower parts do. Make sure you know what a stamen is. Make sure you know what the anther, the carpel. Uh, make sure you know the female and male parts, the different parts for the female. So like the stigma, the style, the ovary. Uh, know what those do. Xylem and phloem. Make sure you can understand what those do. Xylem. Remember, xylem carries water up from the roots to the rest of the plant, and it also carries sometimes nutrients, but mainly water. The phloem carries. Um, hmm, never a dull moment. The phloem carries uh, uh, glucose down from the leaves where it's made by the process <laughs> of photosynthesis. Um, it carries that to the rest of the plant. Oh. I can't just scream and yell. So hang on, let me talk. Um, other parts that you need to know, um, make sure, like I said, on the end of the review, make sure that you have looked over like what a glucose molecule looks like. Um, what a like nucleotide would look like. Um, oh. Stop with all the fake weapons. Um, this is not a weapon. It's really enzymes. Good. There's a couple enzyme graphs. We'll be able to read those. Um, back to the back to the plants. Um, lots of questions. Like I said, kind of showing you how plants are related to human systems. So for instance, I'll read this question real quick. Um, buttercup uh, has produced a small dry fruit. Buttercup did not get enough water and died. Its fruit fell on the ground and began to rot. A clump of Bermuda grass used its root system to absorb nutrients from the buttercup fruit. Which of the Bermuda grass systems then sent the nutrients from the buttercup fruit to its leaves, whether it be excretory, reproductive, dermal, or vascular. So if it's, yeah, even the third grader knows. Good guess. Um, root hairs, make sure you know that root hairs, their main goal is to increase the root's surface area. Okay. Uh, auxins, make sure you know that auxins are a hormone produced by the um, by the plant and what would they be responsible for the alpsin would be responsible for you know a plant response a tropism you know tropism remember a fancy word for a plant response um, some plants have bark stop reading uh, you know stomata make sure you understand what stomata is Stomata is. Oh, pine cones. What type of uh, what part of what part of a system would a pine cone be? Remember, we talked about gymnosperms and how they reproduce with pine cones instead of flowers. Uh, this question was on your review, but about the leaf and how they would be kind of like the respiratory system. So. Um, you know, the leaf has gas exchange. Let's oxygen out, let's carbon dioxide in. So it's kind of like our lungs is changing um, oxygen and carbon dioxide. Um, you know, epidermal cells would be like what system? The epidermis or the integumentary system? Um, there's a question kind of uh, like about our lab that we did with the cross section of the celery. You have to interpret some things about that. That was Oh, here we go. You got to know the products and reactants and be able to interpret a graphic 
of photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Of photosynthesis. Listen to him. Listen to him and you'll get it right. There you go. Ooh, and here's a tricky one. There's a diffusion or osmosis question as well. So it's the same one. Remember, if there's a higher concentration of... Um, if there's a higher concentration of solute, so the stuff that dissolves, if there's a higher concentration inside, let's say, the, the, the baggie or the membrane, water is going to move to that um, part of the cell. It's going to move to the higher solute concentration. Um, it's really about it. Like I said, there's a lot of questions about... Um, I'll say something at the end. You can say something at the end. There's a lot of questions that have to do with, again, comparing structures of human systems with structures of um, the plant system. So there's some general questions at the beginning about what you know the xylem is, what the phloem is. Um, outer single layer group of cells covering a plant is the you know the epidermis, the outer layer, just kind of like our epidermis. So um, it's really about it. I should be there in the morning. I uh, hope you guys have a great night. Good luck. Uh, good luck studying. And you wanted to, guys. Y'all want to say bye. 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 I want to say something. Bye. Say something. Bye. 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 Bye.